There are only a few entertainers that have the talent, endurance, and poise to stand on one name. This status is held for a select and elite group of entertainers. Only a few even come to mind, but one has truly shined and stepped to the head of the class. Beyonce is a sexy and sultry American pop singer born to a record manager father and costume designer mother. Her fate was to be an entertainer and her parents made sure of it. Her father, Matthew Knowles, quit his high paying job to manage her career. Her first big break was with Destiny's Child with a single release for the 1997 film, Men in Black. They were an instant hit with fans and radio stations had a hard time keeping up with their releases. They recorded their finale album in 2005 and were named the best selling female group of all time. In 2001, Beyonce was the first African American female to receive Songwriter of the Year for their album Survivor, which led to her desire to become a solo artist to write more personal songs. Beyonce debuted her solo album Dangerously in Love in 2003 with her first single Crazy in Love, featuring then love interest Jay-Z, topping music charts for eight weeks and selling millions of copies, winning five Grammys and leaving her dance moves etched in her band's minds. After conquering the music industry as a group and solo artist, she collaborated with her mother, Tina Knowles, to create House of Darion, featuring fashions like those worn by the star. She also launched her own fragrance, Heat, in 2010. If her music career, her endeavors in the fashion and retail industries weren't enough, she made her debut in the film industry with a starring role in MTV's Carmen. She also co-starred with Mike Myers and Goldmember and opposite of Jennifer Hudson, Jamie Foxx, and Eddie Murphy in Dreamgirls. Her latest role, she starred as Etta James in Cadillac Records. She also gained even more notoriety after singing James's trademark at last for President Barack and First Lady Michelle Obama's inaugural ball. In 2008, she became the missus of rapper and music model Jay-Z. This marriage didn't slow Beyonce down. She scored two more big hits with Single Ladies and If I Were a Boy off of her album I Am. Sasha Fierce. Beyonce was named among VH1's 100 Greatest Women in Music. She also holds 16 Grammys, 11 MTV Video Music Awards, 4 American Awards, 7 BT Awards, 7 Billboard Music Awards, and 1 Brit Award, just to name a few. Surprisingly, she made a pact with herself. The multi-million selling artist and one of the most prolific performers of her generation would give herself 12 months off. During this time, during a performance, she revealed to millions of viewers her belly bump. And on January the 7th, 2012, she gave birth to Little Miss Blue Ivy Carter. After marking off some long-awaited items on her bucket list, enjoying her time off, and finally experiencing the joy of motherhood, this performer, fashion designer, Jay-Z Mrs., and arguably the most famous new mom, is ready to hit the stage. While other artists release music, she's creating a grand narrative around her life, her career, and her persona. In celebration of she and Jay-Z's lucky number, her latest album, Four, Four Years of Marriage, Four Months of Motherhood, on Friday, May 4th, Beyonce presents Concert for Life. This will follow her more intimate concerts live at Roselands that sold out in 22 seconds. So where else can we have it but the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Logistically speaking, it's the perfect venue. It will keep new mom close to little baby Blue Ivy. And it boasts a seating capacity of 19,500 seats to handle the star crave fans just waiting for her first post-pregnancy performance. It can also accommodate the details of her rider, VIP suites, and state-of-the-art stage, sound, and lighting. The day will begin at 7.04 a.m. with a limo pickup from her penthouse. We will arrive at ABC Studios at 7.34, a pre-interview briefing, and then on to hair and makeup at 8.04. At 8.34, on-air interview with Robin Roberts. The interview will conclude at 8.44, where we'll move to the Carlisle for breakfast for a 9.04 reservation. At 10.34, an on-air interview at Hot 97 FM, and at 11.04 a.m., 
Beyonce will host the largest baby shower in New York City at the Garden for teen mothers and underprivileged mothers. Concert goers can take advantage of the $24 tickets if they bring a gift. The baby shower will conclude at 12:34. We'll break for lunch. I will arrive at the Garden to walk through prior to Beyonce's arrival at 2:04. At 2:34, her dancers will arrive for dress rehearsal, and at 3:04. Miss Beyonce will have a final rehearsal and walkthrough. We want to give her plenty of time to readjust to the stage. At 5.34, the dress rehearsal ends, and Beyonce will be free until 7.04. At 7.04, hair and makeup for Beyonce. At 9.04, lights go up and Beyonce takes the stage. At 11.34, the concert ends. Beyonce will retire to her dressing room to rest for her after party. At 12.34, we will arrive at the 4040 Club for the after party. And at 2.34, Beyonce will leave with hubby Jay-Z. We anticipate that net sales will reach over $2 million based upon her previous concerts, with DVD sales reaching over a million alone. Even after a hefty bill from Madison Square Garden of $400,000, we still anticipate a net profit of $1.5 million. With any event, there are risks. Our risk analysis show that traffic could affect both Robin Roberts' interview or the radio station interview, but those are medium risks. And attendance could be lower than expected, and there can always be technical problems. But we've identified those as low risk as well. What I've learned from this is that uh, you do have to plan. It is a lot of work. You have to cater to the artist and do what you think is best for the artist. Recently, I put on an event and had to experience this personally, and I know that it is a great task. You have to be well prepared. Plan, 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 and plan. And as in one course, we learned um, plan, plan, Double what you're going to spend and half the amount of attendance you expect.